Yeah, it was, uh, I'm just uh, thinking about all the things that I need to do and for prepping, you know, what I'm going to need out there, what I'm going to do, you know, and what, what, what course I'm going to take. I have so much to think about, so many little things, and it's fun. I'm telling you, it's fun. It's, uh, I, I might be moving the, this, it might be, this, these might be my last videos coming up here pretty soon. I don't think I'm going to stay for my lease. And I, might, I might be leaving at the end of this month. And I, I know that I don't want to pay my phone bill anymore, and I don't want to pay the internet anymore. So I might have only another month of, of, of this internet left and, and the phone. So uh, it's, the time is coming, coming, drawing short here, you know, and I don't know how, how long it will be before I'll see you again and make another video, or if I ever will again. You know, I've said enough. There's only so much you can say and do on YouTube, you know, and it's not what I, I want to do with my life. That's what I'm saying. We all need to learn what we need to learn and then carry on. You know, say hi to each other in person. Get out there and talk to people in real person like I've been doing lately. You know, getting out there and talking to real people. You know, living my life the way it's supposed to be. Getting off this internet and disconnecting from all this shit. I'm going to get rid of my computer and all that shit. And, uh, you know, there's nothing here. I just I, All I do is get on here and check a few messages and watch a, 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 a UFC, you know, little things that they try and get you addicted to. I don't need none of that shit. I don't need to watch UFC. I don't need to watch anything on TV. None of the ads that they show. I don't, all of it's killing me. You know, and I, they, they made YouTube into TV again. So it's like, I don't want to need to watch any of this shit. You know, every now and then it's, it's kind of funny to get on and play a game of chess or something like that. But I need to play in person with people. I haven't played it with, with chess with anybody in person in years, in years. You know, and what am I going to do? Die and never play people chess in person? You know, I need to get out there and meet, meet people and start playing them. Chess. I'm really good at chess. My dad was a chess champion, and you got to go out and live your life, man, and talk to people. What do you think we're all here for? You know, we're all here to talk to each other and have fun. And none of that's going to happen if you, if, you, if you stick yourself off and go to work all day long and do what they want you to do. They leave us nothing. No social life. No nothing, man. We don't have enough social. We don't get to talk to each other. You just go to work, come home, and get old and die. You know, go to the hospital and die like the next person. I see people getting old quick. You know, my neighbor just died. Like I said, he and his wife, uh, he, this old man just died across the street like, from obesity, from the food and, uh, and all this. You know, they killed him off. You know, and, I, and then you see a younger couple with a real pretty girl, you know, and her and, uh, and maybe in their mid 30s, you know, and another and a, and a guy. And now they're getting ready to move and, and all, going through all those hardships and everybody's just suffering. You know, the same thing, man. You see it all around you. You can see the way that they eat, that they're going to be just like the one that passed away, the neighbor over there. You know, that he's going to get fat and die the same way as him. And you can just see the patterns that people are doing. And it's like, I'm not going to be part of this shit no more, man. You know, I'm going to go live my life and be happy with what scraps I have left. You know what I mean? What scraps you people have left me, I'm just going to enjoy what I know is the best parts of the scraps of this world that you've left me. Because there's not much left, you know, for a vegan like me running around and being a, you know, it's not even a vegan, just a smart, intelligent, clean, wanting to, to do good with my life, you know, wanting to uh, uh, progress spiritually. I want to progress and evolve and, 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 and seek enlightenment, you know, and, and progress. I want to see advancements of my progression. And, you know, we don't have to struggle and toil for anything. They've fooled you into thinking that you need to do any of that. You know, with, with this food and all this shit and that shelter, that should be covered a long time ago. I've worked 40 years. You know, I mean, but I should, you know we, we should have had that covered a long time. So, so they've got you fooled there. The reason you're even working and stuff like that should let you know something's wrong. Wake up. Why are we working all the time? There's, we don't need to be working. We should. We can get machines to do everything we, we're doing, and we don't need to do anything. All we need to do is grow food and, and eat it and share it and, and, and let everybody do what they want to do. You know, why, do, why are we making each other work? See, we're, we're our own, we're killing each other. Why, why, is, why are we doing that? Who's this evil hand, this hidden hand that's guiding things for us? You need to ask those questions. Why do we have to do, go to work? And God, why do you have to go to school? Why do your kids have to go to school? See what I'm saying? Because the government, and, you know, they, 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 they tell you you have to. They tell you you have to wear a mask. You know, they tell you what to do. You know, and you do it. And you do it. That's why, because they're telling you to do it, and you do it, and you shouldn't do it. I'm not doing anything they say anymore. I'm done. I don't care if I die. I, that's more fun. I'm having way more fun living my life now. And people are responding to me. Like I said, that guy was going to help me today. People are there to help. If people want the same things I'm talking about, when this mask wearing and all this shit started and the vaccines was really bad, the police at one point, they had to get vaccinated to hold their jobs. And you know what the police did at one point in all this? 
thing that was, shit that was going on with this uh, bullshit scamdemic. Uh, the, the police got out there and started feeding the homeless. You know, because they knew that that's where they were going to end up. You know, I mean, you're all going to end up homeless. This, the, the, the police were out there feeding the homeless and, and, and taking care of the homeless. They all came out there in troves because they knew they were going to be there next. Okay, so when you're that close to, to, to tyranny and stuff like that, you realize that you're one step from homelessness and all those homeless people you see out there are your friends. Those are the ones you need to feed. They were feeding the homeless. They said, oh, shit. They knew what was important. What was really important came out real quick. When the shit hit the fan, you know, because you know when you when you when you lose your job and you lose everything in this world, the homeless people are the ones that you're going to have to turn to, you know, what I mean, and you're going to be homeless yourself, and you're going to want to know everything you can about being homeless and how to survive. That's what I'm trying to teach you now, you know, because it's going to happen to all of us. The system's not going to save you. This money system isn't going to save you. It's never going to. It's never going to work. It's not going to work for you. It's going to get worse. I told you this was coming. Like I'm running off of savings now, and the last seven years I've been just say lucky and saving my money. For this moment right here, so I can run, so I can leave right now, because I knew this was all coming. I knew all of this was coming. All of this, we were going to end up in some, in some crazy shit was going to happen, and then they were going to up all the the gas and everything and go, it was going to come up, and they were going to go and crash the dollar and, and just make us go through hell. I mean, put us through hell like they're doing now. You know what I mean? And and, and just this the whole the whole world hell, no matter what. You know what I mean? We're going to work every day and. And doing the system, you know what I mean? They own your time. They want you to have that feel. We got you for work for the next 10 years. Okay, good. They know where you're going to be for the next 10 years. And you're okay with it. You got your retirement and your benefits and all that. And you're happy. You, know, you just sold everybody out when I mean, you did that. You sold yourself out, your whole life out, and everybody for a little pile of paper money. You know what I mean? Which screwed the, it kills us all off. And then they sit back and go, hey, 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 hey. all it took was a little stack of paper from some trees that we chopped down. They just chopped down some trees and made them put their own little faces on paper and, and, and their own fucking little criminal faces on paper and then made you it, it admire this paper as something, meaning something and said, okay, here, we'll give them a stack of, of, of wood. It's just a stack of wood. The money's made from trees. So it's just like giving you a stack of wood with people's faces on it, and you go, oh, thank you. Like, you're just like, you had, look at what this happened to you. Look. And then it's, oh, it's, I got gold and silver too. Oh, I'm somebody. You know what I mean? And, and uh, you know, they own everything. And they're like, here, let him have this. But don't, you know, and then they, they can make people famous when they want to and give them a bunch of money and, and put them, make them, you know, everybody have to listen to everything that they, they want to promote that person for. Like, like the liver king. I hate that fucking guy, the liver king out there. Out there promoting meat eating and all that, making over $100 million a year. You know what I mean? And, and he's totally uh, a, a agent, you know, a secret agent. You're coming in there trying to, to uh, uh, make make your vibration dense and make you want to think that meat eating is the is the way to live and and just live live like a slovenly pig like him and you know and just and that, that people actually have lives like him that you know what I mean nobody lives like that that's when you're propped up when someone's pro propped you up from a position of power and they want to use you as a, as a as a puppet tool to make the masses just don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. I mean, they just think that their reality is screwed. They'll never be the same. When you watch Liver King, you'll never be the same. You know what I mean? People like that, if everybody was like Liver King, we'd all be dead. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, he, there's that dude so fake, too. It's all lies about everything that they're doing, you know? And <laughs> he doesn't make any money or anything. All he's propped up. He's paid by the, by the Hollywood to, to go in there and, and, and make you, <laughs> and demoralize you. And make you, you know, and, and that's what all of it is, is to demoralize you. All of Hollywood and this whole world is to make you demoralized, you know, and to, to corrupt you. And if you accept the corrupt and you're, and you're corrupted and you join them, then they got you. And they got the whole world. They got control of everything. As soon as you do anything that they're doing, you're, you're, you're gone. And then they own it, us. And I'm not letting it happen to me. Because if it happens to me, you're all screwed. You're all, you're all going to die. So you better be, you know, that's why I'm here to save you. I'm, I'm going to. To always be sane and ready to save you, you know, and that's what makes me special. You know, I mean, you need to join me and do the same thing. We all, I don't need to be, I don't want to be special though, but I, I, we all are in our own unique way, no matter what. You know what I mean? So it doesn't take away from my specialness at all. Even if it was, we weren't in a revolution and there wasn't any bias going on, I would still be special, okay? And so would you. Everybody's special in their own way. Everybody, you know, when everybody does art, they always do it. They do art in their own way, and everybody is artistic in their own way. You know, I love to see how people paint and do their own art in their own way, because everybody has their own way of doing it. It's like, ooh, wow, interesting. You know, so it's interesting how people 
do things differently than you. And that, that should be something every human should be admired for that and, 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 and worshipped for that. Worship each other. I mean, instead of these false gods and false idols, and give that energy to each other and worship each other because we're, we're, we're that amazing and magnanimous. We need that. You know what I mean? We need, we need to be, we, we deserve that. You know, and, and that's, that's the way it, should, it was in the beginning. You know what I mean? And, and we're the magic. We're the magical beings. And uh, I'm getting ready to build a hobo rocket, rocket grill. Hobo rocket grill. I got this grill right here. So I'm a, we're all magical beings and we need to cook together and take mushrooms together and do all kinds of things together and, and you know, build fires together and eat vegan together, you know, eat fruits together and uh, do things safely together. You know, everything's safe, you know, and have fun. You know, in this world, in this world right now, we're in an apocalypse, which means the awakening. It doesn't mean the end of the world, and anarchy doesn't mean the end of the world either. Anarchy means no slaves and no masters, and the apocalypse means the awakening. So you're awakening to having no slaves and no masters. Okay, that's what we want. You want that? Here's this grill, the one that I showed you earlier. This one, and then I, I was going. Out, I, I'm going to make what's called a hobo rocket grill because it's a little smaller one. And I went out looking for stuff to make that today. Just because I'm going to go look for three cans that it takes to make it. And I, I went out there and looking. I, I knew there was a place over there that there were some cans I saw. And when I went out there, I found this right here. Just so amazing. I mean, you get out and you you you, you know look at things out there. And, you, and this then I saw this grill. Look at this nice little grill that showed up. You know, and it even has a a little top on it like that, you know, like your little grill. And this one right here, I'm going to take this one this way and come up and pull this button and put a can in here. Like this, you know, like a can. And then put this on top, or this right here on top. And cook that way. Put this one right here and cook and have a little, little one right here. So this is one right here I'm going to use, which helps me. I can't believe I found this. This is great. And, but you want something that's light that I can take with you. This is my biggest grill that you already saw that I did. It's going to be one of the biggest ones, and I have another uh, plug-in grill that I'm going to use. You know, I'm going to take my car at first to see how far I can get on that, and then if I'm on foot, I'll switch to these grills. And I'll even, I'm not on foot, but if I'm switched to just foot, I'm going to take just these and leave the, the bigger grills. But as I go work my way, I've got several size grills here. And I'm going to do what's called the Hobo Hobo Rocket Grill. I looked up that, and you can look it up too on YouTube. The Hobo Rocket Grill. And that's, it's nice. I just found it, and it's three cans. All it takes to make it is three cans. And I, oh, man, it's a nice one because I'm looking for the ones that don't make a lot of smoke. And this one doesn't make a lot of smoke. And, and it's it's cheap and easy to make. You can just go along the canal banks. And, and this world, you would never need to do anything except find these supplies and you can make yourself a grill real quick and start cooking. You take a can about this size. And you take a can this size, a smaller one, like that, and fit it inside this one, like that. And then you take this one right here, a smaller one like that, and you're going to come into the side and put it in like that. And then, uh, and then cut that. I'm not cutting that. Uh, this out right here. This thing right here. Take this out and then slide it in on this right here. I'm going to slide it in right here. And then, then it makes like its own little uh, fireplace. You know what I'm saying? You can add little fuels of sticks in here and sticks in here. And then uh, put, I'm going to make a little thing on the top here to make like a, an X little grill. Well, the X marks the spot. For the North Pole too, and uh, we're gonna have that fit on the top here. And I'll show you it on my next video. I'm gonna make it uh, the the Hobo Rocket Grill, and this thing's gonna be nice to take. Anybody you can take this and survive with this fucking thing. Anywhere you go, this is a nice survival tool that I was ingenious mind like I thought I, I have is thinking of things like this. It's light and easy to take with you. I mean, portable, and you can fix. Uh, and it, it's the smoke is it doesn't have any smoke that comes off at all, so it's non detectable. And then this side thing comes out here, and you can just add little sticks in there tuk, 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 into this and then and uh, and then you got a grill on the top there and just set some things so there's a little hobo rocket grill and you can make these all day long if you have to you know and keep traveling this flat earth until you reach the north pole or freedom or whatever you got to do i mean and uh this had meat in it which was awful and i had to clean all that shit out you people stop eating meat this is made for we don't have we don't even need uh, these cans anyway but if you're gonna these are for vegetables I mean, and, and I go vegan and, and use this hobo rocket grill right here. It can cook anything. You can cook rice or some coffee, or, or not, not a cop, uh, uh, tea. Coffee's bad for you. No coffee, by the way. Uh, no caffeine. But you can have a dandelion root coffee. Black power.